<laughs> All right, our next guest has been on The Late Show with David Letterman, The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, and now he's ready to make the jump to the big time being here on Good Day Sacramento. Oh, he's big time to now. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to Paul Morrissey. Good morning. Good to see you. Thank you guys so much, John and Courtney. It's good to be in studio. <laughs> yeah, because we had gone Zoom before. Yeah. Yeah. And I used to work in news, so I, I'm amazed at how good the teleprompters are now. <laughs> I used to have to get contacts just to read them because really? they were like your cell phone yeah. 20 feet away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. I, can, I can read it. I'm just not very good. That's <laughs> the, so uh, you were telling us during the break, though, because you mentioned that you had a background. That Curtis Ming was your intern? Yeah, he was. The, well, he was the intern at the station. Yeah. And then quickly became like, he was like the first intern I ever saw that like started covering stories. Yeah. And like, you know, when people really get into something, like it, pretty soon, it's so funny that yeah. this segment's called Call Curtis, because that's basically like, hey, is there any batteries? There's an extra camera, call Curtis. Yeah. You know, like he ended up knowing what everything was. So. I love that. He's, he's very weird. Yeah. Wow, wow. <laughs> In okay. a good way. But in if you need way. something done at the station, Curtis is the yes. guy to call, he right? It's true. Yeah. He's utility. Still is. Okay, so I think that your career is a great footnote for this guy because you started off as a journalist. Now you're a comedian. He's got some comedic chops. Okay. He's a no, I don't. Journalist. But, yeah. Um, what do you have any tips for this well, guy? Well, that's the thing is that um, you know, it seems and it's funny that everyone's doing like every comedian wants to be on a new show or a sports show <laughs> yeah. now. That's Whereas so when I started, I was I played college basketball, which yeah. was like, you know, it, over like I I shot over the moon just doing that. Yeah. So I got to do sports because of that career, yeah. and that's the only thing that got me in front of the camera. So so, so now you're you're a comedian. You're touring the country. Yeah. Uh, how has the world? I'm going to Japan next next very week. Very cool. So, okay. Yeah. So what's that like when you go to perform in another country where? You know, English is not the first language. Yeah. So much of, of humor is in the the little details. It is, and it is amazing how you know uh, a friend of mine and we we went to Switzerland and Amsterdam and performed there, and it was so much fun. And we were just like, why don't we do like five new countries a year? That mm -hmm. would be amazing. Mm -hmm. So you know, not that we are going to. Uh, Albany, New York, too too often, but <laughs> maybe slip in Japan or yeah. Tokyo instead of uh, Albany or Philadelphia this year. And so it's been amazing, like you know, to do a mattress joke in in Sacramento in Vietnam and see people laughing at it. Huh. It's pretty amazing. So I was never like. I want to make these people laugh. I was like, I, I'm interested what translates. Because yeah. just like you, there's there's so many more similarities. And especially now with YouTube, you know, yeah. I did a bunch of late night TV shows and all of those are on YouTube now. And people in other countries see them and, and they're like, hey, can you do a show here? Like I, I did some festival in Singapore and the guy who came to the show in Singapore which was a one-off kind of thing like yeah. people didn't know what it was he started a comedy club there the next time i went oh. so it is amazing the influence right that on. you know i've been doing it about 20 years and it's amazing the changes that have gone through yeah. um they, they want us to wrap but i gotta ask oh, sorry. you this no no i gotta ask you this so you're, you're you're going on late night with dave letterman what's it like you walk onto the stage and you see Dave sitting there at his desk. Well, the amazing part was I, you know, it was my dream. You know, sure. I, I, I skipped high school to like go to a taping three, yeah. three hour drive from upstate New York yeah. just wow. to see it. And so I was like, I just want to be a part of this, even if I'm the camera guy or, you know, the usher, I want to be a part of this. Yeah. So to do it, you know, 15 years later, and then I show up and I'm on, my parents are in the audience and Regis Philbin is the guest and he <laughs> talks too long and I get bumped. Oh, and wow. And then, so I, I'm not on the show. David Letterman apologizes to me on the air, which was like even cooler. Yeah, so then yeah. everyone knew I was going to be on. But then he announced that he was going to retire. So then I'm like, I don't know if, I, if I'm even oh, going to be on chance. the show. Yeah. And then they had all these like famous people, but then they were nice enough to have me on. And it was like to come back I basically yeah. had a, a rehearsal and so I got to you Get know nerves out Paul Schaefer's band plays the song that you tell him to play I got to be on there with uh, Kaiser and and uh, you know a bunch of 
amazing people and got to meet Biff and all the people backstage and stuff. Right so on. yeah, it was a dream come. It, it was the perfect timing. If I'd have done it earlier, I'd have been too spoiled. It was yeah. good that I had to earn it. So. so you're performing in Sacramento though tonight and tomorrow at Laughs Unlimited. Yeah. Where you got your start. Yeah. So yeah. when I was doing the news, there was a woman in a, a, a Kane Anderson and Del Van Dyke. They both ran a, a, like a, the open mic at workshop thing. And uh, Karen was like, hey, you're really funny on the news. You should do stand up. And so that's how I ended up doing it. And, you know, ended up do the only the only thing I figured out later, I did a Nike commercial with Chris Paul, which I played a sports reporter <laughs> and I only worked three hours and I made the same money that I did the full <laughs> year. So I'm like, and didn't I have think to I, write a bunch of material for yeah, it. I didn't have to work eight hours a day or do stories I didn't want. So yeah. I'm like, maybe this is better for me. <laughs> <laughs> you right. found your niche, Paul. Not to rub it in. All right, well, if the bosses are watching, I quit. <laughs> Uh, Catch Paul <laughs> this weekend at Laughs Unlimited. Uh, we're going to make all the details yeah. to our website, GoodDaySacramento.com. Show info in today's date. Welcome back to the Good Thank Day Thank you studio. guys so much for having me. Thank Appreciate you. Paul. Appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs> all right, it is